Working out hard every day to be the best I can. I shift it to the right, shift it to the left, hunger down low and reach high to the sky. Got my rhythm down pat, so they say. I'm looking like a winner in every way. So when I hear somebody say, what a horse, I know they're talking about me, of course. And I'm gonna be in that winner circle someday. Yeah, I'm a prime example of a Tennessee walker, a high-stepping, fast-walking Tennessee talker. I'm going to be in that winter circle someday. And hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to this edition of What a Horse. We're ready to go, right? Yes, sir. Hey, I'm going to tell you, two weekends in a row, two horse shows in a row, multi-night, matter of fact, three horse shows. Good percentage compliant. Yeah, you are Can't right. We'll go over some announcements after you do your deal. We'll be right back <laughs> after these messages. <laughs> Hi, it's your friend Abby at Jim Armstrong Super. Just wanted you to know KBB voted Super best overall and most trusted brand once again. ACSI also named Super number one in vehicle safety. And KD Power is also named Super number one in brand loyalty. Last but not least, they're number one in my book too. So come see me and your other friends at Jim Armstrong Super and see what being number one is all about. Two-time world champion and world grand champion Joe Hall is now standing at stud during the 2023 breeding season at Precious Memory Farm for $750. Contact Daniel Miller, 931-703-5830 or Shane Porterfield, 615-809-4257. Joe Hall is now standing at stud at Precious Memory Farm. Hi, I'm Smokey Bear, and I made an assistant to help you out, because only you can prevent wildfires. Hey, Assistant Smokey Bear, call me Papa Bear, because I'm grilling up dinner. <laughs> do you get it? Yes, good job. So, what should I do with all these coals? Don't just toss them out. Put them in a metal container, because those embers can start a wildfire. I understand. The stakes are high. Ha, 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 ha. See, Smokey thinks I'm funny. Perfection Leather, a division of the Winter Circle. Our high quality products are handcrafted at our manufacturing facility in Shelbyville, Tennessee, using the very finest Wicked and Craig bridle and harness leather. All hides are thoroughly inspected to ensure consistent thickness and a smooth finish. They are also examined for any imperfections that would reduce the quality of our products. After inspection of the hides, each piece is hand cut or die cut to the product's precise specifications. Each component is then assembled by an experienced craftsman. The assembled product is then stitched by an experienced operator using state-of-the-art lock stitch machinery. The stitch product is then finished and hand polished to their completion. After completion, each product is carefully inspected for quality assurance. All of Perfection Leather products are available at the Winter Circle Horse Supply. The Tennessee Walking Horse is rapidly becoming the horse of choice when selecting a great ride for the family. If you're looking for a smooth, easy ride on the trail that will take you through hills and streams or an obstacle course competition, the versatility of the Tennessee Walking Horse will stand out by showing its willingness to learn in its smooth, easy, steady gait through the course. If it's a competitive show horse you're looking for, the Tennessee Walking Horse is the perfect family horse by young and old. Whether it's flat shot or padded performance classes for an amateur adult or youth, a walking horse is the horse of choice. The Tennessee Walking Horse is perfect for every equestrian division. Also remember one simple truth.
Yo, I'm on the horror. That's a fact. <laughs> The 27th through the 29th, Cooper Steel Arena, you got the Racking Horse Association, has got a show. Their show starts Thursday night at 6 p.m., then Friday morning at 10, they got something going on, and then that night at 6 p.m., Saturday night at 6 p.m. Nathan Clark, Danny Music, and Curtis, I believe that's Curtis Thompson, yeah. is the judges, then Dale Watts and Beth Hammond are the, are the alternates. We also got the spring extravaganza going on 28th to 29th at the Ag Center. Contact Carol Misseldine, 919-437-6597. And start time is 4 p.m. Judges, Scotty Beatty. Upper Cumberland Walking Horse Show is also on the 29th. It's the Heidenberg Agricultural Pavilion in Cookville. Call Jimmy Sherrill, 615-464-5047. Start time is 5 p.m. And the judge is the Honorable Sam Sara. We're going to have a lot going on, but I wanted to talk a little bit about the uh, this past weekend. We had a show in East Tennessee. Yes. And then we had one in Kentucky. Uh, Curtis Pittman and his group were the HIOs for both of those locations. And uh, they, they had a they had an outstanding show. They, both had, they, had a, they had a good show, I tell you. I, I attended the one over there in Cleveland, and um, I tell you, they had a good show. I mean, everybody seemed like got along with each other. The DQP and the government was pretty much was on the same page with each other. You know, um, I just thought it... They had a 98% compliance. Yeah, it, it was, it was so a well. good show. I, I mean, it was a good show. I mean, it's... Well, from what I gathered, some of the violations were silly violations. Yes. One of them was uh, where a horse stepped on itself, and, and which that happens. I mean, it, it, there's no, you, you can't say anything, but I was really impressed with the fact that the, the government and our DQPs worked together. They, yeah, they did. They, they really did work together. And, uh, well, that's a good thing. Even they had 217 entries, and up in Kentucky they had 151, and Kentucky had a 97 percent compliance rate. So, and that was with the government there. So, what I'm thinking is our trainers have been doing a fantastic job of taking care of these horses, and I can only take my hat off and and applaud the DQPs and oh, the, yeah. the VMOs for looking, finding a violation, get it, but not trying to create a violation. Now I'm gonna put it that way. I think uh, I think we we've, we're at a point now to where if they go and inspect horses, I, I'm gonna tell you, and and it was very fair. I mean, I you know, it's just like anything else. You know, if if somebody do something. Wrong, you know. A lot of people want to point out the bad things, but don't never want to tell somebody when they done something real good. Right. And I mean, but and I would tell you, this weekend they, they had a real good show. I mean, everybody got along. I think I led about over 15 head of horses through inspection. You know, mm -hmm. what I'm talking about the government checked some of them, but I mean, wasn't overbearing on none of them. You know, I thought he just done a, a terrific job. You know. Well, everybody. I Curtis done to. a good job. Done a real good job, and Paul. Livingston done a real good job, and I mean they got horses in and out. Paul, boy, I, I, I can picture Paul. <laughs> yeah, Paul's well, well, a good the, guy. The real thing about guy. it is, it is when when people do their job, and I've told people this before, I credit the USDA with the horse we have today because they they come in like gangbusters and and clamp down and on the abuse disappeared but what happened was instead of breeding everything in a lot you picked out your best mares and then you figured out which was the best cross yes. and that's what we started doing and now we've got a product that quite honestly I believe half of them if you abused them 
you wouldn't get nothing out of them. Yeah, you're right. The biggest thing I was amazed of on the government part of it is when they when he picked that horse's foot up, he knew exactly what he was going to do when he picked that horse's foot up, went through it, and put it down. I mean, he didn't take a long period of time. He made his mind up quick, and then what he's supposed to, you know. A veterinarian with his with the soul's experience. Experience, that's right. He got very good experience. As soon as he picks up that horse's foot, he, he knows exactly. He, he knows. I yes. mean, he can look and he can tell. He doesn't have to part hairs. He doesn't have to do this. He can look at that horse's foot and know what kind of shape it's in. That's the sign of a seasoned veterinarian that's, that's right. been around horses. horses. And that's that right there is the key because a lot of the veterinarians that we get are not true equine veterinarians and they they just don't realize that when you look at it you can tell and i, I think that's that's changed they say in kentucky we had a good show I oh mean, yeah kentucky had, had 151 entries had a good I show think so. the, the government done real good up there you yeah. know everybody got along with each other you know mm -hmm. and it just a pleasant atmosphere to be around mm -hmm. well let's watch some victory passes okay. what you say that work. This was at the Spring Fast Showcase. Right there is the ultimate honor in Jack Harney, the owner Justin Harney. That little man put on a show. He, yeah. he had that crowd rocking and rolling, didn't he? He did have that. I told his father, I said, there's one thing for sure. There wasn't none of those adults wanted to be part of that pony class. <laughs> they, they wanted to stay away from them. Well, that young man right there have a long line of good trainers in his life. His granddad oh, yeah. was a top trainer. Yep. And here's Black Gen Scout and Megan Hammond for Shamrock Farms. I tell you what, all she did was reload. That's right. Uh, and <coughs> Megan can flat ride a Oh, horse. she can ride a horse. She sits her horse real well. I mean, her and a horse come into one. Yes. And she does a good job now, yeah. no doubt about it. Here's Jimmer's Country Girl and Josh Watts for Carol Baxter. That's a good man right there. Three-year-old Marion Gildan, Ryder Cup winner. Josh and Dale does a real good job on training them horses and everything. Carol keeps a bunch of good, nice horses. She got a bunch yes, of nice sir. horses, real nice horses. Well, them blue seats play havoc with our video. <laughs> Right here is a Super Bowl MVP. I tell you what, B.B. Beasley, hey, that young lady can flat ride a horse now. She can ride. Ain't too much you can say about them. I mean, you can say it all. I mean, they, just like you say about some of the other horses, I mean, they. You can talk they, about them all day long, but them little girls now, they're something else. That's right. And right here he is a kingpin and Bob Adcock, your amateur 15 to an under winner. Tell you what. I thought that horse looked it extremely good. That horse did. He got Bob was another road. real good rider, and he got some good horses. Oh, he knows what he's doing out yes. there. You can't beat that. That's a very nice horse. Well, Bob's a good, good rider now. He can get the job done. One thing you say, all three judges thought he should have won that class. Oh, yeah. This is some of Bob Roach's video. We wanted to put that on there because he had a good angle. Bob, yeah. Bob's getting some good video. Here's Mayor Bill and Dan Waddell for George and Kim Lewis. That's another. I tell you what, that horse right there is, uh, he, he's, he's, they better watch him because he he's going to get there, no doubt about it. Here lately, I believe he already got there almost. <laughs> I think. Hey, I'm, I'm talking about the <laughs> he celebration. Won. Yeah. He I'm, won a bunch. I'm talking about the big, the big roses, because that every time I see him, he looks better. Yeah. And right here, I could talk all day about Eli. Eli and the medalist. Your Lebanon underwinner.
It's another horse. I think every time you see him, he get better and better. He does. Well, they they get more suited to each other as time goes That's on. That's right. Right here is the Char Queen and Beth B. She made two outstanding shows, I yes. thought. I really did. The Char Queen looked really good and, and quite an honor. Yeah. That's the one I really like, quite an honor. It's a tough horse right there. Right here is Joe Pa and Winky Groover. Your open specialty Ryder Cup Reserve winner. I'm, I'm gonna tell you that class right there be a big class to <laughs> go to because you got a bunch of good horses that gonna That's be there. right. And here's a mighty gin and Sam Martin for Mike Floyd. <clears throat> tell you what, that's another that 14 was, in that class. Yeah, that was a nice horse there too. They were loaded for bear. And Lord made a great show in that class. And here he is. I am big enough. Your youth pony winner in Maxine Beasley was reserve. I'm sorry. Yeah. But I tell you what, she made a heck of a show. A heck of a show. I like that. Them little girls can ride. Oh, now. they can ride now. They get the job really done. Ride. That's all that matters. Yes. Getting the job done. Well, I tell you what, you can do your uh, deal again, and then we're going to show some. Uh, we're going to do some reminiscing. That'll work. <laughs> we'll be right back after these messages. <laughs> gentlemen as you know I have a big passion for the Tennessee walking horse but I also have another passion and that's for communication systems and saving my customers money and we've done automobile dealerships shoe stores law offices dentist offices even the breeders association I have installed systems from California to New York to Florida and now for a limited time I am giving three months free service to everybody that signs up for host my calls and there will be no installation charge. Call me today, 931-581-4411, and see if I can save you money on your communications. What does Habitat for Humanity build? Hope. Opportunity. Joy and togetherness. Growth and transformation. Strength and stability. Community. Home. Hey everybody, I'm Garth Brooks. And I'm Trisha Irwin. And nothing illustrates the beauty of what we can build together, like Habitat for Humanity. A safe, decent, affordable place to call home is a campus full of possibility. In our work with Habitat, we've seen what's possible. Financial stability, peace of mind, room to grow and play, better health, brighter futures. In your community and around the world right now, neighbors are helping neighbors build masterpieces of their own. Visit Habitat.org to learn more and get involved today. You know, my friends think I know everything there is to know about the walking horse industry. And I do know a lot, but not everything. I do know one thing, though. My father told me I could find out anything I needed to know about this industry by going to walkinghorsereport.com. And you know what? He was right. Everything from single night shows to multi night shows, sibling and progeny searches, rider cup standing, stallion reports, they even have a calendar of shows for the entire year and all the current news. It's all right there at the tip of my fingers when I go to walking horsereport.com. You know, they could do it themselves, but I don't think I'm going to tell them. Let's just keep them wondering how I know so much. All right. uh, we're going to reminisce, and, and I got the idea to do this from the report. Because I, I saw the picture the report did, and Fast was talking about the equine education. Well, Kathy 
size, myself, and um, well, that that wasn't all. I mean, that was. I, I could sit here and think all day and, and not name everybody that was yeah. involved in that. Once we got it going, and we got the people, like I think I had, oh, 60 or 70 people that had joined in and said, yeah, we want to come. These were teachers, started giving me numbers. Then we started really getting a lot of people interested in it. And uh, then it started building, building, building. And it, it just got it got better every day. Uh, it was just unbelievable. But we got video that shows everything. Ranger T. Walker, which is our gray horse coming in, is a mounted patrol horse and service horse with the Tweeba Service Horse Program. Ranger, the gray horse, is a registered a uh, Tennessee walking horse and is the official spokes horse for the just say woe to drinking, drugs, and bad decision program. The members with Ranger T. Walker today are Olivia Hayes and Mackenzie Vincent. Mackenzie is a board member with the Tennessee Walking Horse Youth Association and a long time member of Tweeba. She loves to ride walking horses and has been very successful in the Tweeba Creative Contest. Olivia also loves to ride walking horses and has received the maximum amount of scholarships from judging in the All Youth Day here that's held every year here on the celebration grounds. During the celebration, there is an all day youth horse judging contest. Ranger T. Walker, the gray horse, appreciates their dedication and is proud to have them on his team helping the youth to learn how to just say whoa well to drinking, drugs, and bad decisions. Victory Trip is ridden today by Shelby Finch and Rachel Cowles are teaming up for the versatility with the Tennessee Walking Horse along with Victory Trip, their horse. Victory Trip is brought to, to us today by the Starnes family, where Larry and Linda Starnes horses with adults and youth to show that the key to versatility is with walking horses. This mare is superior and adult supreme champion. Her nickname is Trip. Trip, like a journey. Jerry, the niece rolling. Both Trip helped a tremendous amount in doing this okay and we ended up people just don't realize the number of children that we had there we had over 2,000 before the day was over there every one of them got to ride a horse but it was people like Bobby Richards uh, Mac Deacle was there doing the blacksmith we had USDA was there uh, we had people in there going over everything we did talking to them and letting them understand what it was about horses but what really impressed me is I got one call from Kurt Hart Huffman he was a principal at Liberty and he said uh, Jerry, he said, I've got more than one class that wants to come. I said, well, they can come. He said, well, it's, it's quite a few. And I said, he said, Jerry, the whole school wants to come. He said, every class. So I said, brought them on. So they ended up bringing over 600 kids to this thing, which amounted to about a third of what was there. Uh, 686, to be told. That's a good deal. I, you know, that's... Well, we had... I wish we'd have to do a lot more of the stuff like this. Oh, yeah. Well, Huntland brought 205. Yeah. Uh, Rock Creek over here in Franklin County, 212. Uh, North Lake brought 129. But I'm in mean, Cascades, 95. But I'm going to tell you what I was really impressed with. We had 41 homeschooled children that showed up. Okay. 
But we had people help us. Now, this was five years ago, like Laurie Toon there. The trainers, I did not ask a single one to participate that didn't show up and help. We want these horses to shake their head at all times. And it, to be honest, it's not everybody that will let you handle their horses yes. and do stuff, but everybody everybody jumped in and helped, and it, it really really was outstanding today. Always help. Well, you you, you asked her to do something. I asked her to help me do a bidding video. She jumped right in there, more than willing to help. Look at them kids. Oh, yeah. Pleasure Horse Trainer of the Year. 
She has been and proven to be a major as you know, you were here for the saying all through your life that behind every successful man is a great woman. This team right here exemplifies that phrase. Behind every great man, or behind every good man, there is a great woman. We have that here right before you with these two wonderful trainers and two wonderful horses. Joe and Bailey, we thank y'all very much for participating today. All the hard work you do for our industry, thank you very much. We have Jessica Lee back coming in on label a parolee. Now this horse is referred to as being three-gated. Okay, three-gated means he not only flat walk which he's doing before you. He also running walks, which is just an increase. We need to have more of these, of yes, the in different parts of the country. Because, yeah, yeah, you need to. It's about three to four <coughs> miles per hour. A running walk is six to seven miles. This is very so educational yes, to people. Is. And a lot of people and don't so understand the game of the Tennessee walking walk. horse. Just right here, I know 2,000 youngsters that got educated. Yes. Is one of our fantastic trainers. And we got we got all kinds of video of what the USDA did. Uh, what we were doing down in the shoeing with yes. Mac Deacle. Uh, BMO Nanny, she uh, she uh, uh, showed the different parts of the horse and the kids really got into it, but they had uh, beanbag games. Okay. To where they could throw bean bags and, and win things. The USDA potato, mm -hmm. and it was it was a popular site. Refer to this as a canter. Okay. Now, if you notice, she's going this way of the ring, and she's on the left lead. Now we we'll reverse, and when she canters this way, she'll be on the right lead. See, her right leg leads forward. There we go. The right leg, the inside leg, goes forward. She's on the right lead. When she was going I think Bobby place, Richard does a good job lead. of explaining this. Yes. He did the video, the voiceover for the video we did on From Flat Shot to Performance, uh -huh. where uh, Woody Woodruff would do the shoeing, and uh, he would just add a different shoe, a different weight, as the day, you know, as the time went yeah. on and showed how that gait changed. That's a great video that people can look and see how the weight actually dominates or directs the horse on the weight it's going to step. That's right. With more knee lift, more reach from the front legs, a faster, quicker, deeper motion with that head shake. And the stride behind, give us that overstride. You can really watch this horse with a nice look stride the nice stride up there. Oh yeah, <laughs> with his back legs. Very nice, beautiful presentation. Jessica Leebacks, probably one of the best jobs I've ever seen at presenting her and her. That was done March 9th, 2018. Ms. Leibach, thank you very much for your help today, and we're going to follow that up with Leanne Tiz on the horse that started this process a while ago. Without a warning, we saw him under, as a model horse and saw him park out and saw how pretty he was. Now we see Miss Leanne Tibbs watching perform under saddle and show us a lot of the characteristics or all the characteristics that we look for in the Tennessee walking horse. We've got to have that head shape. We want the mane to be flopping. We want his foretop, the hair between his ears, to be flopping. Sometimes I refer to that as flop factor. We want the knee lift and the extension from the shoulders. We want that horse to look like he's shifted his weight to his hindquarters and driving with those back legs up under itself. Beautiful headset. We want the horse to flex at the pole, to drop off and have a vertical headset with his nose. We don't want his nose to be sticking out in front of him. 
We want that flexion at the pole to be able to drop off the bit. One more time around Miss Leanne and then we're going to move on to our padded horses. Very nice. Very nice. See the stride behind? The nice action that Miss Leanne. Leanne does a great job. Her and her husband out in Petersburg and just does a great job with not only spotted horses but solid horses as well. Just passing. always going to present her horses ready for a horse show. And always, if you're going to find her when she's in show ring competition, you're going to find her at the top of the class. Oh, yeah, she's teaching the cannon. Very nice. Look at you. She ain't scared. Come in this arena in front of y'all and try that for the first time. That's great. Great job, Leanne. Thank you, baby. This is the Tennessee Walking Horse Dangerous Title. A seven-year-old Sorrow Guilty. He is written and owned by Liberty School student Amy Harris of Sheffieldville, Tennessee. This beautiful walking horse has been loved, trained, and shown his entire life by the Joe Fleming Stables. And his dad and granddad. Dangerous title is a reserve world champion receiving this honor at the juvenile show pleasure division at the Tennessee Walking Horse. I think she place. wasn't happy doing that. She was in the entire school yes. was there. Mm -hmm. First place awards at shows all across Tennessee, Alabama, Mississippi, and even Florida. This year, Addie will be showing dangerous title in, in the youth 11 and under on Walking Bears and Gilbert. This will be Addie's last year to show in the 11 and under division. In her four years of showing walking horses, she has won one World Grand Championship, two Reserve World Grand Championships, and six World Championships, and her Reserve World Championship on her horse, Dangerous Title. If you would, Addie, first horse. Reverse. Fantastic. Let him catch his breath. Turn around, let him see the crowd. And here we go. Oh, yeah, that's beautiful. This is a good educational he thing for the kids that. and everything. It is. That's why we need to do more of them. Yes. A lot of them. We, we need other, other events, though. Not just for the for show horse, but competitive horses. Yes. I love to see extreme cowboy competition. Uh, I mean, it, it, it's all out there to get the kids oh, yeah. into the horses. That's the main. Get them into the horses. She will see how she sits in the saddle. Just beautiful saddle seat equitation. Now that was just one segment. We, oh yeah. We we videoed everything that day, and we've got well, we've got some more. But before we do that, we have to take a short pause. That's your job. We'll be right back after these messages. <laughs> Can't believe you're doing this alone. I've done it before. I remember you threw your back out. <laughs> How you holding up? Hand me that board. Nothing wrong with getting help. I'm good. I did it when Felicia left. I'll figure it out. I know you will, but you don't have to do it alone. That's all I'm saying. If I promise to look into it, will you drop it and help me build this fence? <laughs> now you need my help. You can be a real pain sometimes, you know? Mm -hmm. If you or a veteran you know needs support, don't wait. Reach out. Find resources at va.gov reach. The Mona Dean family is proud to announce that the multi-time world champion and world grand champion minor ordeal is now available for breeding at Sugar Creek Breeding Facility for the 2023 spring breeding season. Minor ordeal. Minor Ordeal has proven year after year that he is one of the elite champions of all time winning five World Grand Championships, one World Grand Championship, 
and the Reserve World Grand Championship as well. Minor ordeal, a major win here in the two-year-old division, our World Grand Champion. Make the call to breed to a true champion, Minor Ordeal, 931-680-0897. Six-time world champion in amateur and open competition, four-time amateur world grand champion, and 2019 world grand champion. Standing at stud for Joanne Dowell at Fantasy Farm in Bell Buckle, Tennessee. Call 931-389-6983 for breeding information. An estimated 11 million Americans have heart valve disease, but most of us know little to nothing about it. People can be born with valve problems, or they can develop from cardiovascular disease, infections, certain cancer treatments, and age, with older adults at the highest risk. If diagnosed early, it can usually be successfully treated, no matter what your age. Valve disease can cause a number of symptoms, including lightheadedness, irregular heartbeat, shortness of breath, tiredness, swelling of the ankles and feet, and not feeling like yourself in general but is often only detected when your heart is listened to by a healthcare professional. So listen to your heart, see your healthcare professional, discuss your risk factors and any potential symptoms, and go to valvediseaseday.org to learn more. More of What a Horse coming up. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go back because we got more of it. And we, I've got a ton of video of that event from the kids playing with the horses to them riding the horses. We, we got a little bit of everything. But it, it's something that we need to do as an industry is look at having more of these events. Here we go, we got Except that, yeah, just, not just great. this one, but this more of Maxine. them in different parts of the country. Yes. Maxine Beasley is exhibiting her Tennessee walking horse named Inception. Inception is trained by Joe Bush here in Bedford County. Maxine that was her stooling horse, as they called it. Uh -huh. Her practice horse. And she ended up winning a lot with that horse. Yeah. <laughs> Inception showed a total of 16 times, with three of those performances being at the celebration. And winning a reserve World Grand Championship in 2017. In 2017, they also won their first World, Ch World Championship in the novice 11 and under. That was a nice little horse. Max yes, it was. Is 10 years old and lives in Athens, Alabama. That was her, that, like I say, that was her that lesson horse. That's yes. the one she's supposed to learn to and ride on. Well, she not only learned to ride, that little horse right there taught her how to be an equestrian. Oh, yes. She showed earlier in the lead line pony class at the 2013 celebration. And at 2014, won a reserve world grand championship. Maxine is looking forward to another exciting and successful show year with her horse in special. If you see in the crowd, if you come to a horse show, Maxine and Inception would really appreciate a lot of cheering and hollering clapping. Maxine, will you reverse your horse for us, please? You know, one of the most touching things at that event, though, and we had it out on YouTube for a long time. Herbert Derrickson did the national anthem. Yeah and his mic messed up. So all those kids started singing the national anthem. And you talking about 
Oh yeah, very a touching moment. That showed what Maxine the youth in the South are made of. Yeah. Year, Maxine, what an unbelievable job. Fantastic rider and great horse. Look at that horse set up there and look through that bridle. Likes his job. Beautiful young lady. Great job, Maxine. Thank you very much. Now we see her twin, B.B. Beasley, on her horse and walking. B.B. is riding her new horse this year. His name is Lion Walking, this gray horse. Baby Aqua. He happens to be a five-time world champion. He is trained also by Joe Fleming Stables, where he has been in training ever since two years of age. He's going to be this year by B.B. in the Youth Pony and Lebanon Under Juvenile Division. This will be B.B.'s first year to show line walking, and the, this is the first time she has exhibited her new horse. B.B. is also 10 years of age and lives in Athens, Alabama. That's a nice horse right there. Oh, oh yeah. a nice horse. Maxine, right before her. B.B. hopes to be a horse trainer one day. And she started by winning 2016, her first time to show at the celebration, riding by herself. 2014, she won the lead line pony class. And of course, Miss B.B. looks forward to a very exciting new year with her new horse, who is a five-time world champion in his own life. Okay, let him catch his breath right there, hon. And we'll turn around and make your victory pass going the opposite direction. This horse has already bred several mares. He's got several Those young ladies have grown and into and exactly and that, and young ladies. That's yes, right. Really nice and mare. still riding. And mm -hmm. the owner's going to keep her for a broodmate. She's actually got folk by her side right now that's by this horse. So that's this another horse one that helped together. a lot. Justin oh, yeah. Harris and Joe Fleming. Yeah. Great job. You Jeff Green was there helping. Really deep back in the really situated overstride that we're looking for. Of course, he was there. He yeah. shifts his weight. You can see the muscles. Did you help him? Watching. <laughs> <laughs> he, you helped. I know you did. Just a great horse going to be hard to beat in his division this year, folks. I'm just proud of myself. I'm Great proud it turned out the way it did. Great job presenting the horse. Great rider and horse. Pink Panther coming forward. The Pink Panther, ladies and gentlemen, is a six-year-old gilding that is shown today by Daniel Smith. He is shown in the Lebanon underclass and right there is one that has grown up on it. Lord, he's, he's over six foot. He's shown by Chad in the Riders' Cup divisions and even by Daniel's grandfather, Larry West, in amateur divisions. He is sired by out on parole and was purchased from Miss Karen Bean when he was four years of age. Young lady down in Alabama owns that horse now, I yes. believe. Uh -huh. Smith is a fifth grader, age 10, son of Courtney West, and son of Larry and Elsie Abernathy West. He began his riding career with lessons and academy shows with Alice Klein. He very quickly realized his love and ability to ride flat shot horses, and he wanted to move up to performance horses and soon Jeff Willis was looking for a mount to Daniel to show. His grandparents purchased another image of cash, also steady Freddie for Daniel, and he began practicing and getting ready for the horse show. Winky Gruber is the one that saw the Pink Panther show in Cookville, Tennessee, Referred to Daniel's grandmother with the Pinky was a member of their horse family the next week 
after meeting Daniel, Daniel and Timothy. He remains in training with Winky until well, Daniel set to saddle like a professional trainer Winky now. Was moved to the Chad Williams stables at that time, where he is in training present. Daniel and Pinky continue to work together to improve. I look forward to a fantastic show here this year. Daniel, make you one final lap victory pass. Show these folks what you're capable of doing. What a fantastic young man. Great, very talented horse. Big way of going. You know, Daniel, we really thank you for coming out today and showing your horse off to us. Doing a great job for it. Fantastic. Beautiful. Okay, we have Golden Sovereign, I believe. <laughs> Folks, this is one of the legends in our horse industry. The horse titled the Golden Sovereign. He's ridden today by his trainer, Mr. Chad Williams. This horse is over 20 years old and still going strong. This is a two-time world grand champion. And just as we saw the flat shot horse earlier being three-gated. He is 26 or 27 this year. Yes, this mm -hmm. horse has been shown. And steady going strong, steady. For many, many years in various divisions and always a hard horse to be dealt with. That's the canter, boys. That's how the canter is supposed to be done. Slow and easy. Yeah, I've always said he had one of the best canters yes. in the industry That's and he does. Just a great horse. horse. And that is Body Virginia Stewart's trainer, baby. Chad yes. Williams. Bar none. One always does a great job <laughs> in whatever division he competes in. You're going to find Mr. Williams at the top of the class. Very competitive in whatever he shows and whatever horse he puts in the ring. Always looking the part, acting the part, and showing to try to win the class. Beautiful canter, Mr. Williams. Thank you, Chad. Can you turn around and show us a victory pass for us? What a beautiful canter. Is that not awesome? Oh, my goodness. That was beautiful. Look at that horse set up in a bridle. That horse loves to show. He's a show horse. I seen an old video of him when he was a two year old Mickey McCormick show. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He is the part. He you know, Virginia Stewart won a world championship over yeah. uh -huh. this way for many, many years. Mr. Chad Williams, thank you for all your expertise today. Thank you for bringing your horses out and demonstrating what they're supposed to look like. Thank you, Mr. Williams. I'm going to tell you, every trainer, and, and it is what makes this home, is nobody home turns you down. That's Jeff there, ain't it, huh? Very talented young trainer that we have. I knew Jeff Green's father and know his brothers. All great guys in the horse business. Really see a wonderful horse here showing you, demonstrating the head shape. Look at that ribbon. A lot of times, or just about all the time, when we show in English, will braid ribbons in their mane to try to match the brow band and, and, ma and match what the riders are exhibiting in. Showing you a great head shape. The front end and that striding back end. Great behind, great that what we call that overstride. In divisions, that overstride and the animation up front are more exaggerated. 
This horse is doing the same gait that our pleasure horses were doing, our flat shot horses, but much more enhanced and being able to drive from behind and show you that overstride and that rhythmic head shake. Jeff Green is really talented about when he puts a horse in the ring, they're going to be shaking him up. They're going to give you the really nice head shake. They're going to have that flopping mane that we like to see with that rhythmic motion. This horse has really got a really nice neck coming vertical out of his shoulders from a conformational standpoint and is designed and created with those hips and hind legs to be able to shift the majority of his weight to his hind quarters and really stride a long ways up under himself. Come on down through there, Mr. Green, to show us your victory pass. What a great job showing your horses you always do for us. What a very talented trainer and very talented horse. Thank you, Mr. Jeff Green. All right. Now, every one of those horses passed inspection. Yes. We had the USDA there having them. They was inspecting and they was holding small clinics. Mm -hmm. But we've got some more video that in the weeks to come, I'm going to go back and show it too because what was really fun for me was when all the kids started riding. Oh, yeah. And I remember that Hayden Thompson, well, he was there. And uh, we wanted someone from the crowd to just jump out and ride one. So we got together, we'd already decided it's gonna be Aiden. Yeah. <laughs> he got to come out with all of his buddies and jump on a horse and ride. But there was over 2,000 kids that rode a horse that day. And that, believe me, took some time. Oh yeah, but I tell you, it's an educational video. Well, I mean, I've had a lot of people ask me about putting them on North Carolina, South Carolina, Georgia, and Alabama, and we need to. We need things like this. Yes. And we, we need the kids to come. And if you call, every, every school has a day, that they, they, a day that they go out and go places. Some of them have educational days. Some of them have yeah. career day. Some of them have field trip days. You ask them and talk to the principals, talk to the superintendents of the school. They'll give you dates. And then you can come up with a good date to where a lot of them can come, preferably on a Friday. Friday, yes. So mm -hmm. it, it's just, uh, it can't, I know it can't be in our show season, but it's out there. I guess that's it for this week. Yes, sir. But we got a horse show to go to, starts Friday night. Well, the Racking Horse starts Thursday night, Cooper Steel Arena. Friday night starts at the Ag Center, so I guess we'll see everybody there. I see, we'll see everybody there. I guess there'll be a bunch of people there. All right, see y'all next week. See you later. Good luck to y'all horse show this weekend. Working out hard every day to be the best I can. I shift it to the right, shift it to the left, hunger down low and reach high to the sky. Got my rhythm down pat. So they say, I'm looking like a winner in every way. So when I hear somebody say, what a horse, I know they're talking about me, of course. And I'm going to be in that winner circle someday. I'm a prime example of a Tennessee walker, a high-stepping, fast-walking Tennessee talker. I'm going to be in that winter circle someday. Ah, oh, please start talking.